So now I'm going to tackle the next exercise in Codeality's lesson nine, maximum slice problem. It's called max profit. Let's get straight into it. Okay, an array A consisting of N integers is given. It contains daily prices of a stock share for the period of N consecutive days. If a single share was bought on day P and sold on day Q, where P is less than Q, then the profit of such transaction is equal to the array at Q minus the array at P, providing that A at Q is greater than or equal to P. Otherwise, the transaction brings a loss. So for example, the following array with six elements. If a share was bought on day zero and sold on day two, a loss of 2048 would occur because a two minus a zero is minus 2048. If a share was bought on day four and sold on day five, a profit of 354 would occur. Maximum possible profit was 356. It would occur if a share was bought on day one and sold on day five. Okay, write a function that given the array consisting of n integers containing daily stock prices, returns the maximum possible profit for one transaction during this period. The function should return zero if it was impossible to gain any profit. So in that example, it should return 356. Write an efficient algorithm for the following assumptions. N, which is the number of days, is an integer within the range of zero to 400,000. And each element of array A is an integer within the range of naught to 200,000. Okay, so I think what I need to do is loop through the array once and uh, the starting at position one will take a look at that value and the value before and the maximum profit we can make at that point is either this value minus the previous day's value or as we move on we can remember this profit and it can be the profit that we made before plus this value minus that value. Um, so I think this is pretty straightforward. So I'll just take the example and put it through. Okay, so I've just uh, initialized that with the example. So what I'm gonna do is loop through the array from index one to the end of the array, one step at a time. And the profit we can make on this day A at I minus A at I minus one. I'm gonna make a max profit value zero. If we make a loss, it said in the description that we should return zero. So I'm gonna initialize max profit to zero. And if profit on this day, greater than max profit, then max profit equals profit this day. But we can also make a cumulative profit. I'm gonna start that off at zero. If cumulative, and then cumulative profit, I'll add max profit, uh, profit this day onto it. If cumulative profit 
is greater than zero if that is greater than max profit max profit equals that but if cumulative profit goes negative we can set it back to zero so in other words this bit is saying if the profit we make on this day is greater than max profit then max profit is that otherwise we add the profit on this day to the cumulative profit which is the profit we've made over previous days if that is greater than zero and greater than max profit we'll set max profit to that otherwise if that goes zero then we could always just not have made a trade it says if we can only make a loss cumulative profit should be zero so if cumulative profit goes negative we can just forget it and set it to zero and i think that that's it i think that we can return max profit there and i think that that's our solution so i'll just run that and the value we're looking for is three five six so let's see if that works three five six i think that's reasonably straightforward i think i could have done this um in a neater way but it's good enough so i'm going to submit that and see how it does uh, i just checked the n could be zero what's going to happen if it's zero well it's not going to do this loop at all max profit set to zero so that should be okay each element in the array it's zero to two hundred thousand that should be okay i think there may have been a cleverer way of doing this by looking for the, the sort of minimum and maximum values but i don't know this is a pretty basic way but i think it works and it only loops through the array once so it's efficient so let's submit that and see how it does and 100 percent. so that was a painless task and that's my solution to max profit on codility thanks for watching